Hello again guys, I'm Juan here from Bone Studio and uh, today I'm very excited because I want to present you our first add-on for Blender 2.79. This add-on uh, should be compatible with any version of Blender 2.7x but uh, we are using today the, last, the latest build of Blender 2.79. I'm going to show you how to install the add-on. You go to File, User Preferences, Add-ons. Here I have the, the add-on installed already but you have to go to install add-on from file, BS modify pivot in the folder where you have the, the zip file and install add-on from file. Here we have the, the add-on, you can enable it and that's it. So, this add-on gives you a functionality similar to the 3ds Max affect only pivot uh, function. So, the add-on is located under the tools tab in modify pivot. Now, let's review what is it for. So in Blender, usually when you have to modify the, the origin of an object, you can do it very easily using the cursor, for example, and using this menu, and you can use uh, origin to 3D cursor, for example. Okay, here we have the 3D cursor, and the origin is completely modified. But what happens if what you want to do is not just to modify its location, but also its orientation? So, uh, this is, uh, this add-on is just for that. So, we can create a monkey head and now we can press modify pivot, modify pivot button. This button creates a new object called VS Axis Susan. Susan is the name of the object, obviously, and VS Axis is the name of the object created by the add-on. So, we can modify this object we can rotate this object as we want, for example. And now we are finished. So let me change this to global so you can see the, the change in the orientation to local, sorry. And now we can press commit pivot. Bear in mind that you have to have selected the axis object, not the target object, the axis object, or, or if the, uh, this is not going to work. So commit pivot. And here you have the object has now the new pivot with the new orientation and new location. Now, I, I found a bug where uh, if I press rotate and Y, for example, I'm actually rotating not around the axis presented here, but around my new axis. For example, Z is rotating the object around my new axis. But if I press C two times, I have my new axis, but the object is not rotating around it. So, have this in mind, so you don't become crazy like me when I found this bug. Okay, now, when I see my transform information, this, this uh, add-on, what uh, gives us is a zero transformation in everything. It's like everything is, uh, is uh, applied. So how can I reset the location, the zero location of the object to be the zero location of the world? And how can I reset the zero orientation or rotation of the object to be the zero rotation of the world? Those two buttons are for this exactly. So if I reset the pivot orientation, you see we recover our original orientation. And if I press reset zero location, I recover the original zero location of the pivot. Of course, I can then center again with origin to geometry. And here we have, we can apply location. Oh, sorry. Origin to geometry. And uh, here we have, the, the original location of the object. And that's it. Uh, bear in mind that we use, let me modify it again, commit pivot. Bear in mind that we use the delta transforms to be able to do this. So if you have to use delta transforms for anything, uh, you will have if this works with this add-on. But that's it. I hope you like it and I hope you can embrace it. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.